Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you a very popular effect that you may have seen all over TikTok, Instagram, all across concert photography over the past few years and this is the sparkles, glitter, star filter effect, whatever you want to call it. It's become increasingly popular. I made a video on this earlier this year and it did very well. So I wanted to show you an easier way you can do this. If you guys want to check out the previous video I made on this topic, you can check the description. Today we're working with Adobe After Effects and a plugin that you can download. If you guys enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So right here, I have a video of Roddy Rich at a concert. You can do this with photos as well. Um, you don't have to use After Effects. I believe this plugin is available on Premiere Pro and you can also use their software, which is called Sapphire. So the effect is called Glint. And if I just drag it on right here, you can see uh, what it does. So you don't necessarily have to do this in Adobe After Effects or Premiere Pro. Um, it comes with a software of its own as well. So in Adobe After Effects, it should be under Sapphire. So there's a bunch of different um, Sapphire folders. So I think it's under Sapphire Lighting and it's called S Glint and S Glint Rainbow. There are two different variations. So this is actually not a free plugin. It's actually quite expensive. Uh, you can see that a monthly subscription is $62. Obviously it comes with more than just one effect, but it is expensive and people use this for movies and TV shows and stuff like that. So that explains the price. If you are a student, as you can see here, there's academic discount pricing. So you can get the Sapphire plugin that we're using for free with valid student ID. So all you have to do is you want to press request for a student license and it'll bring you to this form. You fill in your name, the name of your university, and your address with a picture of your student ID and your class schedule. And then once they verify your eligibility, you'll be able to download what would be a $1,000 product. You can see if you check, uh, click on new license, it costs $1,700. And obviously it shows the compatibility, um, After Effects, Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna show it in Adobe After Effects just because typically when I do special effects like this, it would be in Adobe After Effects anyways. So all you want to do is you want to drag on S Glint. So off the bat, you can see what happens. Um, you can see the effect. If I add on the rainbow, you can see there's a different um, set of colors. You can actually change particular colors. So you can shift the red, blue, and green. When it comes to the original Glint, you're not able to do that. So that's just essentially the difference. So if I play through this video, you can see what happens. The effect is pretty seamless, like you don't really have to adjust much, except if it's too bright. Um, so if it's too bright, what you could do is you can just turn down brightness, obviously, and it'll become a softer version of it. You can also make the lines softer by increasing the blur, so it seems more natural. You can just create a glow effect, honestly, if you just increase the blur. Besides that, the only thing you can really adjust is the size of these lines and how long each stretch out for. So right now you can see that these lines are in equal length, but you can actually increase the strength and how long these lines go for. So the longer this line you stretch out, the greater the effect it has. You can also adjust it in size details right here. This might be a little bit easier but I would recommend to keep it around the same so there's some sort of consistency. You can also make the target area a lot smaller. You can actually simulate a flare by stretching it left to right or even up and down to create a greater effect. You can see there's a bigger cross section right here. So now that I've rendered it out, you can see how it looks in real time. And you can see it's adaptive to when he moves and stuff like that. It's not just an overlay, which is great. And quickly, I'm just going to show you what the rainbow uh, plugin shows you. So it's just a different variation. And to me, this would look more like a prism effect. Um, if you were to put some sort of glass or some sort of kaleidoscope filter over your camera, this is what it would look like. So obviously you can see more colors when you go through these. You can shift out certain colors. You can see how that looks like. So maybe even create an RGB split effect um, by doing something like this. So if you want to shift the blues, it obviously creates a different look. Personally, this would look good in settings like concerts where it's a lot of abstract elements happening all at once. But in a more professional setting, I would recommend just using normal escalant effect. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more tutorials on other Sapphire lighting plugins, 
Let me know in the comment section below and check the description for a link to Sapphire. I'm going to link the student page as well as the product page. I'm also going to link Adobe After Effects. The entire Adobe suite, which includes all the applications, is 60% off for students. So if you're a student, you're getting a lot of discounts here. And I'm also going to link an Adobe After Effects playlist with a bunch of different tutorials similar to this. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And my name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.